Boop, boop, boop. All right, so I don't know about you guys, but every once in a while you find that like last small part that either finishes off a build or gives it that last like little touch to make it a little bit better. And that's what we're gonna talk about today as far as a mounting solution for your Streamlight from Schaefer Machine. Now this was actually brought to my attention by a viewer. Sorry, I don't remember who you are, but I love you for bringing this to my attention because this literally is one of the best options you can buy should you have a ProTac, ProTac HLX. Now light mounting can suck and I have run everything from the Streamlight like this one, which actually has that little mounting system on it right here which I love stream lights. I have run the mod lights with the mod buttons and stuff like that. I have run the clouds, the rains, both in the full size and the mini with their pressure pads. I have run various other kind of budget optics or lights. I have run various other expensive ones, especially Surefire. I've got one buried in the safe over here somewhere. And all of them kind of have their little gives and takes when it comes to how they mount, how the pressure pad mounts because sometimes it's just not great. And in the case with Streamlight, and they have sent me a lot of products for the channel for review before, the light mounting solutions for the Streamlights, the pressure pads, it just kind of sucks. It's not the best one out there, but then again, lots of companies just really don't have the best mounting solutions for the pressure pads, and you end up turning to the aftermarket. Now, the difference between Surefire, Streamlight, Modlight, and Cloud, and all those different ones is the Streamlight right here, the ProTac HLX, even with that mount and everything that's got on there with an Arasaka mount on there for the M-Lock and that pressure pad mount from Schaefer Machine, it's still literally under half the cost of all of those other options. And Streamlight is a brand that I have trusted literally with my life at work, searched hundreds of buildings with Streamlights before, both pistol, rifle mounted, whatever. And it's one that I've kind of come to trust and that I keep kind of falling back on because it's just a lot of bang for the buck. So let's go ahead and take a really good look at this M-Lock mount from Schaefer Machine for the ProTac pressure pad right now. M-Lock, so clean, that's where it's at, right? So we're gonna take a good up close look at this mount for your Streamlight ProTac kit from Schaefer Machine. So if you guys haven't, go ahead and get subbed up, get belled up down there and turn those notifications on so you get the notes when the videos come out. And again, if you're interested in anything, we'll have those links down below, those affiliate links help the channel and keep everything here going. So before we really get into this, let's take a good solid look at what we get from Streamlight from the factory. So this is the factory mounting setup that Streamlight gives us in a factory pressure pad. So you're gonna get a couple of these little grommets here that are gonna go on a quad rail. And basically what you're gonna do is you're going to snap those things on there or put your pressure pad in there first, just like this, it only goes one way. And then you can see the bottom section here has everything for your quad rail. And then you're gonna mash that over your quad rail somehow. And then that's gonna stay on there. So it works. Um, I did use this on a work rig for many years and it was just fine. However, I would occasionally notice that it had a danger because I would knock it off. It would come out like that. If you hit something really hard or took a, took a nice tumble down some stairs, Whatever happened, you can knock that out of there. So it's not the most secure thing. It comes with it, but it's just not the best thing. So in comes Schaefer machine. So you can just see how clean and tight that pressure pad is mounting to that M-lock. Two M-lock screws in there. It comes with two screws right there that you screw directly into the mount itself, and then you are good to go. Put your pressure pad on there. And then the only other thing you've got to do is your cable management. So you can see right here, I've just got a Ranger band with that cable on there. Um, use those things for a lot of different things for a lot of different years from the military to everything else. And uh, you know, Streamlight has that kind of swivel tail cap. So that does help with the mounting. And then as you can see in there as well, I've got that Arasaka inline mount to keep that light super tight up in there. Just less bulk overall. Love the Arasaka mounts, they are absolutely awesome. So talking about the price on this thing and the price of this overall kit, let's go ahead and get into that because that's gonna be a huge determining factor, people. And one of the things you need to pay attention to as well, which is why I wanted to have this pressure pad out, there are pads, okay, that have different sizes. So I'm gonna line these holes up as best I can looking at this on the camera. And you will see that the screw holes do not line up perfectly 
with the one that is actually on the Schaefer machine mount. So he's got a little diagram online, but uh, depending on what light you have, whether you have a rail mount or an RM for the TLR series or the ProTac series, and then there is a little bit of difference sometimes between, I think he said there's three different versions of this pressure pad. You've got to check that on the website to make sure you're going to get the right one. And like I said, it's quick measurement and then you're going to know, and he can do custom ones. So let's go ahead and talk about the price, talk about this overall kit and rig and how much the light, the air is talking about this all costs because that's a very common setup. All right, so I know someone's gonna say, well, you didn't take it off to show me the M-Lock screws. Come on, it's M-Lock. Everybody can put M-Lock on, super easy. Little dab of Loctite on there and you're gonna be good to go. So the install on that is super simple, guys. Now, when we talk about doing the math on this, I know this is gonna hurt all of our brains right now, but let's do some math. So between the ProTac HLX kit and the uh, Arasaka mount that's on there and the actual Schaefer machine mount that's on there, you're still right at that like $200 mark, which is like, do the math, 200 bucks, still half the price of those other big names and you're getting a lot of durability, reliability, and cost savings when it comes to the light. I know that wasn't really doing math, but that's about all the math I can handle for today. But to break down each piece for you, I think the ProTac kit is like 118, 120, 35 bucks for the Schaefer mount, and I think it was like 29 or 30 for the Arasaka inline mount that I'm running on there. So even with a high-end, cool, nice mount that's gonna get you super flush to your rail like that, kick it up on the side, make it look cool out there, you're still gonna be coming in way cheaper than the competition and you're still gonna get the reliability and the durability of that Streamlight. Well, that is what I've got for you all today. I'll leave all the links for that stuff in the build list down below. You can check that out. All those affiliate links help the channel, helps us keep going, helps us grow and do all the cool stuff that we are doing here. And let me know, do you guys like seeing like little parts like that? Just kind of just kind of finish things off or you just like seeing the whole build at the end of it. So some people kind of like to see each part. Some people just want to see the main video. And I'm really curious to know what percentages you guys want what. You guys, make sure you get subbed up, get belled up, go out there and have some fun on the range. And remember, grab all three of these. If you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. All of them. And I will see you guys on the next one.